And I'm Dawson Otto. Welcome back to HTTV, where we tell you what's up. So let's jump right into the calendar. So the 21st, Sunday, it was Jen Hughes and Cash Chaplin's birthday. Um, on Monday the 22nd, there was no school, but we had a volleyball game, junior high, JV, and varsity um, versus Westington Springs at Westington Springs, and that was a loss for the ladies. And Carson Van Buskirk had a birthday, so happy birthday. Uh, Wednesday the 24th, it was Kennedy Enander's birthday. And Thursday the 25th, we have football playoffs and Logan Wirtz's birthday. Uh, Friday at 26, school's in session, and it's Reese Kustemeyer, Kustemeyer's birthday that day, too. And on the 27th, this Saturday, we have elementary girls basketball and boys basketball in Tulare. I think it's the Masons tournament. And it is Bryn Banger's birthday. And girls play at like 9 and boys play at like noon, 1 o'clock, <laughs> around there. Somewhere around there. Uh, the 28th, Sunday, is Titus Walner's birthday and Jordan Wiff's birthday. Um, on the 30th, which is next Tuesday, we have Girls Volleyball Regions, and the girls will play um, versus Castlewood at Arlington at 6 o'clock, and they are the fourth seed in the region. It's also Sydney and Sienna's Sylvia's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, girls. And the 31st, Halloween. There you go. Now, to jump over to our elementary interviews. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Rihanna Nock. Hi, Rihanna. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. What are you learning in school? Um, mostly just right now we're doing doubles in class, and we just got finished with phonics. Wow, that sounds fun. What do you do at recess? Play games with my friends. Mostly groundies. Groundies. I used to play groundies. What are you going to be for Halloween? Wow. Now to Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel, and I'm with Zoe Close. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Good. What do you do at recess? Just play volleyball. What are you learning today in school? Math and reading. Um, what are you going to be for Halloween? A clown. Sounds fun. To Trajan. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Avery. So, Avery, how's school going? Um, so what are you learning in class? Um, we are going to do science later, and we're learning about the body parts. Oh, that sounds fun. So what do you do out at recess? Um, volleyball. Ooh, that's a good sport. Um, so what do you plan to dress up for Halloween as? A scarecrow. Ooh, a nice scarecrow or like a mean one? I don't know. I don't know. All right, to Peyton. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Brady Bixer. So how you doing, Brady? Good. Good? Uh, what are you doing in uh, school right now? Playing iPads. Playing iPads? That's fun. Um, you excited for Halloween this year? Yeah. What are you going to be? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Nice. That's nice. All right, back to you. Thank you for those interviews. So let's jump into uh, some volleyball stats from the past couple few games. So the ladies played Silly Beats last Friday, and that was a loss in five for them. Um, <clears throat> for kills, Dawson Otto had 18, Elizabeth Salmon had 11, and Dan Peterson had eight. Um, for aces, we had Cassidy Johnson with five, Elizabeth with two, and Kennedy and Trajan both had one. And with digs, we have Cap Kennedy with 28, Elizabeth with 27, and Cassidy with 17. Um, and then on, they played at a tournament on Saturday. And it looks like we're missing one of the stats for those, but that's okay. Um, they, their first game they played James Valley, and that was a win for them. Um, Dawson Otto had nine kills, Elizabeth had four, and Cassidy had five. Um, for aces, we had Dannon and Kennedy with two aces, and Dawson, Elizabeth, and Trajan with one. And for digs, it looks like we had Kennedy and Elizabeth with nine, and Dannon with eight. And then they played Philip after that, 
Um, but they lost that game, but we don't have stats for it. So um, we'll just jump right into the third and fourth place match, which was Leo against Leola Frederick, and that was a win for them. Um, Dawson had six kills, Elizabeth had four, and Ashley and Cassidy had three. For aces, Kennedy had three. Dawson, Cassidy, and Trajan all had one. And for digs, we had Kennedy at 13, Elizabeth at nine, and Dannon and Dawson at eight. Okay, and then Monday, the girls traveled to Westington, Westington Springs, and they lost in four. Um, for kills, uh, Dawson had 11, Cassidy had eight, and Ashley had seven. Um, for aces, Elizabeth had three, and Cassidy had one. And for digs, we had Kennedy with 21, um, Elizabeth with 19, and Dawson and Dana with 14. So, and... That was, that was the last regular season game. Right? Last regular season game was against Westington Springs, and the ladies came out as a fourth seed in the region, and they'll be going to Arlington next Tuesday to play Castlewood. So it should be a good match. We hope you come out and watch. Uh, last Thursday, the uh, football team season came to an end with a loss to the number one ranked uh, Sully Beach Chargers down in Oneida. Uh, you know, it was a tough game. Uh, they're a really good team, but um, it's been a great season. I was glad to be part of it, and, um, you know, uh, the future looks uh, bright for the young uh, players, and uh, I believe our seniors left our mark on the program. So with the regular season coming to an end, uh, how do you feel about that? You played your last home game Friday, correct? Last Friday against uh, Sully? Yep. So uh, how's it feeling? How are you feeling about regions and all that? Um, regions I feel like should be good. I feel like we can definitely beat this team. We have a lot more potential than, than we actually show most of the time. Um, if we just work together, I think we could easily get her done and go on to the round round three actually since we have a buy the first before we can hopefully make it into a sweet 16 game right. that's what yeah. we're hoping for i Sweet. think you girls do have potential to uh make it there so that's it for our sports stats so uh let's go into our interview with mr rock about uh volleyball hi i'm peyton Nelson. i'm here with the coach op so coach uh, how the game against sully go last friday um you know we Saw Solly Friday night. Um, they came in, got up 2-0 on us. Um, we fought back. Um, it was kind of a disappointing ending um, to the night. We ended up losing and, and set 5 15 to 11. But I liked the fight that we had, and then we had to work some th work through some errors and whatnot. But uh, hopefully, we learned from that. Uh, the next day, you competed in the Woolsey tournament down in Woolsey. Uh, how'd that go? You know, we played played pretty well, I thought. Um, first game, we played James Valley again for the third time and, and won 2-0. And then we saw a tough Phillip team. Um, I wasn't kind of, I thought we could have had a little bit more energy that game. Um, we kind of, they took it to us pretty good the second set. Um, lost 25-15, then we ended up playing Leola Frederick, and it was nice. Um, again, we, we saw a lot of fight out of our, our players. We were down, I think, 23-19 to 19 and come, come back and fought and won 25-23. So that was nice to see. We took third place, so that was a, it was a nice, nice day. And, uh, you know, um, obviously we were kind of tired after the day was over. So on Monday, you traveled down to uh, Westington Springs to take on Westington Springs. How'd you do? Um, we didn't play well. Um, we lost the first two sets pretty good. Got beat up pretty well. Came back the third and fourth set. Came back the third set, um, beat them pretty handily into the fourth set. Crawled our way back into it and lost 26-24. So we lost the lost match 3-1. to one. Um, We had a lot of errors, a lot of errors that match. Um, we have to clean it up. A lot of hitting errors, a lot of serving errors, which is kind of uncommon for this time of, time of year. Um, and especially for us, you know, we had, I think, 13 serving errors, 25 hitting errors, and then that's not counting our setting or receiving errors. So we have a lot of errors we had to clean up, and, and obviously that's why we lost the, lost the match. So we, weren't, we aren't very happy how we played, so we have to clean it up before next week. So seeing as how that was your last regular season game, you can look towards regions. How's that looking? Um, you know, we, we look at the regions, and we're going to have – we'll have the number four seeded um, – number four seed – for us, and uh, we'll play Castlewood, which is number five. Um, I don't know a lot about them right now. I'm just trying to get some film on them, trying to get some uh, scouting reports on them, see what we can do. 
Um, biggest thing is we have to play well. Um, they are, the way it sounds, just by reading initial reports, they're pretty scrappy. Got a couple of uh, pretty athletic players. Um, and obviously they know how to win because they've, they've won the state basketball tournament last year. So, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting matchup since neither one of us has seen each other. Um, so that'll be next week, I believe it's next Tuesday at 6 o'clock in Arlington. And then hopefully our chances are if we win, we'll take on probably a good Arlington squad for a chance in the round of 16. So that's kind of our, our goal right now is to get, make it past Castlewood and get our, get our chance at Arlington. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you for the interview. Um, now we will jump into our interview with the senior football boys. We'll talk to them about how their season went and all that stuff. So, Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with all the senior bo football boys. I'll have them introduce themselves. I'm Ty Hofer, running back, linebacker. Grant Hamilton, quarterback, linebacker. Kobe Stoner, offense and defensive line. Peyton Nelson, center, nose tackle. Dawson Gam, wide receiver, safety. Cody Anderson, offense and defensive line. Okay, boys, um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. So, uh, how was your football career? Um, overall, it was uh, it was pretty good. It was fun, lots and lots of fun. Uh, a group of guys was super fun to be with and have a lot of fun with. And we had a pretty good season, four and four regular season, and then we lost the Slate Buttes in playoffs. So better than the previous years. A good time, and it was uh, fun to create some memories with the guys throughout the season. Well, football season was fun. Great guys to play with. Always funny. Practices are always good. Good group of guys. It's uh, been one, one heck of a ride. Uh, this is probably my favorite year playing football. So uh, it was just all around a good time. Didn't get to play much, but it was, it was fun to be around a great group of guys. I had a lot of fun this year with the seniors and everybody else, having a blast out and making fun of the coaches and everything. What, were, what was your guys' favorite memory? Uh, favorite memory is probably just in practice every day, laying the wood on some little kids. Um, you know, you just, you're sprinting around the corner and here comes a little guy and you're just like, should I take it easy? And you don't, so. My favorite memory is when we uh, messed around in practice and we'd uh, do a prayer and then headbutt each other. So that was pretty fun. My favorite memory of football was probably last year we beat Northwestern to go to the playoffs. Uh, getting to win a homecoming game this year for the first time in like four or five years was pretty, pretty good feeling, pretty good experience. And just getting to uh, play football and being around my teammates and just having fun out there was, was a good memory. Uh, my favorite memory is probably getting hit every day in practice by Ty. He doesn't let up and he will hit you as hard as he can. My favorite memory would probably just being around the guys and being around the coaches and having a good time. What game did you guys all enjoy the most? I'd say my favorite game was probably oh, the career. Um, probably T.S. Fazina this year, homecoming game, like Pinel said. Um, we all played pretty good, and we ended up ending the game at halftime. So. <clears throat> my favorite game was playing against Falkton this year. Even though we lost, uh, it was still a fun game, and the crowd was really in it, so that was fun to play. Favorite game <clears throat> was probably our first game against Iroquois. Just to see how much improved we have from last year. It was pretty fun to play. Uh, I enjoyed our homecoming game this year. Just uh, being in the homecoming game with the homecoming week, it was uh, really cool. Falcon was a good game too, and I also enjoyed Northwestern. 
Favorite game of the year was probably homecoming because I haven't won in probably five years. My favorite game would probably be homecoming as well. We won it and I got to play, so that was always fun. And the last question is, what are you going to miss the most? Um, definitely going to miss the most. Probably just practice and be with these guys and the younger classmen. I'm going to miss them a lot too. Um, just the sport. You know, <clears throat> last time you get to play it and you're never going to come back. So The thing I'm going to miss the most about this sport is the brotherhood we create during the season. It's a lot of fun with the guys. It's, it's just a good time. What I'm going to miss the most is probably the physicalness of the game. You know, God love hitting people, right? Just getting to play the sport. Uh, it's my favorite sport, and just getting to play it. And uh, overall, it's just uh, something that you make a lot of memories from and remember very fondly. The thing I'm going to miss the most about football is probably getting jacked on the sideline when Ty or uh, Grant are scoring a touchdown and just cheering them on during the game. What I'm going to miss about this sport is probably the practices the most. Getting picked on by all the players and everything else and the coaches. And just having a good time out there on the field. Thank you guys. Back to you. Thank you for the, for the interview with the senior football boys. Now, lastly, we have an interview with Amanda Holzel, Christine Miklich, and Daniel Wright who for their student council project for this month of October, they did a movie night. So uh, let's hop and do the interview with Peyton to see uh, how they felt it went. Oh. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Christine, Danielle, and Amanda. So tell us about your uh, movie night you did for your student council project. Well, on Tuesday night, we hosted a movie night and we showed The Boy and Ouija and we had quite a few students, and the admission was to bring two or more canned foods to donate to the Good Samaritan Center, and we ended up getting 135 cans total. Did you think it was a good turnout for the movie night? Yeah, I think it was a great turnout. Everybody participated well, and we all had pizza, which, which was really fun. All right, thank you, girls. Back to you. Thank you for the interview. Well, looks like that's all we have for you on this week's edition of HGTV. Um, remember, be awesome. Not, Not average. average. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tuler.